Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Bosco's Toy Box. Well, I'm back with more toy collectibles, and this is part two of my very first trip to the uh, flea market. And if you haven't seen part one, uh, you don't have to, it's not a requirement, but uh, it's always cool to see uh, what I picked up uh, if you're not uh, into like action figures or whatever, because this is going to be uh, Hot Wheels and cars, die cast cars of, uh, of that sort, but part one was a bunch of toys, games, comics, action figures, so just take a look at it and it's always uh, interesting to see what uh, other people find. So um, I will start off by showing you uh, just some regular toy cars that I picked up. Uh, first off is this trolley. It is a, uh, let me get the right end. Fisher Price, uh, if you can, camera will focus on that. There we go, Fisher Price. It is from 2006, a trolley that opens up at the top and you can put people inside. And it is a, uh, from a line called Geo Tracks, and it's a manual push trolley car. And so you would buy uh, all these uh, tracks, and it also comes like with this suspension bridge that you can roll the cars across because there's other little uh, toy car lines that um, you can uh, move along the track. So I just like that because I like trolleys. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Next, uh, we have from 1990 a Hanna Barbera car with Huckleberry Hound. And let me. See the camera will focus, Huckleberry Hound and Snagglepuss. And I'll try to show you all sides of the car there. And I think it says number two at the top there. So very cool. Next is a uh, from 2014 McDonald's Bowser car. Very cool. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that uh, everything that I'm going to show you is not up for trade. Uh, there's one person in particular, uh, uh, Dismania. So, uh, Dismania, I have uh, cars for you, but I'll show you uh, when those come uh, up on the camera. I'll, sh I'll show you which ones you get. But uh, this is going to go in my uh, Nintendo uh, Mario Kart collection, because I like these cars. And once I get enough, it's going to be used for a toy photo. So very cool. I like this Bowser car a lot. Uh, next is from Maisto, and it is from 2003. It is an X-Men Storm car, which is really cool. And um, most of these, um, I think I got for like a dollar, all these cars that I'm showing you right now. And when you roll the car, let's see if you can, her arm moves, so you can see that, okay? So very cool, and it's all like, um, it's metal, it's a, it's a really heavy car, so very cool. I like that a lot. Next is a, from 1981, a Sesame Street Ernie fire engine little slightly worn. I mean, come on, it's 1981, so it is going to have a little bit of play wear and maybe even some rusting, because as you can see, there's rusting there, or not so much rusting, I'm sorry, uh, paint chips. And uh, it's another heavy car, uh, all metal except for the uh, tires, which are plastic, but very cool looking car, a dollar for that. And then the last of just the like standard cars uh, that I got is this is my first Tootsie toy, and this is a very cool Tootsie toy chemical extinguisher car. And as you can see, the te uh, the tampos there and there are intact, and it's just an all around. Uh, and I'll show you the bottom because like Tootsie toys are known just to have those hollow bottoms, and. I as you can see at the bottom there, it says Tootsie Toy. Not sh so sure if you can get that. A little bit there with the light against the white, but very cool car. I, this I think this is like one of my favorite just standard cars. I love that a lot. Okay. Now, uh, 
uh, Desmania. I'm going to show you the two cards that I got for you. For 25 cents each, I got you in the package, and yes, in the package for 25 cents. This first one was two, uh, from the year 2000, and I know you like orange. You like orange cars. So you are getting a Chevy Nomad. There you go. And there's a top there, as you can see, with the sunroof. And the best I can show you there without, and I'll show you the bottom, I guess, too. There you go. Okay, so again, 25 cents, and that goes in your box. I'm going to keep that there. Okay, and then the next one for 25 cents from the year... 2006 is a 1968 Mustang. Again, orange. There you go. Very cool with the engine sticking out there. And trying to show you, and I'm sorry for the glare. And then there's just a black bottom there, so not much you can see there. So, 68 Mustang. Very cool. Okay, so uh, Dismania, I'm going to go put that in your box uh, when I'm done. Okay, uh, I'll show you the other cars that I got for 25 cents each, which is really crazy. Me and my friend, I got my friend hooked on Matchbox, Hot Wheel collecting, just diecast cars in general. Uh, he's now obsessed like I am. But there's this one guy at the uh, flea market which we are so shocked because we normally are running across loose cars that are 50 cents, packaged cars are a dollar. Uh, we haven't seen any packaged cars yet that were 25 cents. And this guy, which was just ex extremely nice, well, I mean, we were even just throwing stuff in the bags, not really keeping an accurate count. And then we would just go up to him and he's like, how many got there? I'm like, I'm because I, I was just losing count because I was just so excited throwing stuff into the bag. And I just show him the bag and he goes, eh, he goes, just give me three dollars. Well, uh, when I came home, I counted the cars and essentially I got one car free because I had three dollars and twenty five three dollars and twenty five cents worth. So the first car uh, in the package uh, from 2009 is a Invader from the Race World Battle Series. And very cool. I got a couple number of these uh, Invader cars already, but not in the package. And I just kind of like that um, graphic there too. I like that. Okay. Next up is a uh, another one from the Race World, uh, oh actually this is from the Race World Beach Series, 2009. It is a Diora 2, and it's got an orange car, which uh, just many, I would have gotten you uh, this one as well, but this was the last one. But it's got the shark on the side, and it's got those, um, I think they're, I'm not sure if, they're, they're, if the surfboards are removable, but they do slide around. And so, because uh, there are some Hot Wheels, uh, older Hot Wheels, the surfboards are removable. But I just thought that was a cool car. Next up is a uh, from the Race World Battle Series, uh, 2009. Is a Humvee, and it's got, as you can see there in the back, it's got the skull. It's almost kind of like a Mad Max-ish type of car, almost. I mean, you could actually really customize this car into like some kind of badass um, Mad Max car. And it does have a trailer hitch on the back. So, very cool. Next is a um, car from 2006. The Spy Force series. Uh, car number 5 of 5 is a Lotus Esprit. And it's got this great graphic on the side. There we go. And there is a glare. I'm trying to show you the best I can there. But very cool car. Love the uh, purple uh, color in that car with the, um, it has like an orangish uh, tint to the windows. And it's got a black spoiler. Uh, next, we have from the year 1996. And again, uh, these were 25 cents each, which uh, I was just uh, 
just shocked at uh, some of the cool cards I got in the package for 25 cents. This is a uh, from the 30s uh, Style Setter series. Uh, it's a classic Packard. Which, that is a really cool car. I love that car. Okay. Next, I have got a uh, the Hot Wheels Hot Rod series. Uh, the year 2009 is a tea bucket. Very cool with the um, it's got it's got like a multicolor flame there and the purple car and that's just uh, that's a slick looking car. I like that a lot. Okay. Next up is a another orange car I would have got uh, for Dismania, except it's the last one. But this is this is an awesome one. This is from the year 1996 from the Premier Collectors Model Series, number seven of 12 cars in the series. It is a um, you know what? This is not. It's uh, it's called Way Too Fast. There it is because it was only on the bottom. Check that car out. That is awesome. And it's got the double engine there in the front. And it's got like a checkered flag on the top of there. That's a pretty kick-ass car there. Okay. Next, uh, we got um, two in the, I think, uh, in the same, oh, actually, no, it's not in the same series, but the same kind of car. This is for the Bugging Out series. Car number four of four, the Baja Bug which is a very cool looking car and it's kind of got like a um, it's not a moth but maybe like a lightning bug I guess maybe and I just like that car a lot and then the same kind of car but in a different series from the uh, Tropical series number uh, two of four another Baja bug but it's a bug and taxi it's kind of like got a Rasta little man uh, on the side there. Multicolor uh, side there and another Rasta man on the hood of the car there. Sunroof. Very cool. And then it's got like, I'm not sure, did the, yeah. So, like the back of them has got this uh, weird uh, thing on the back there. Okay. And then I got two buses which were just really cool. This is from the uh, from the year 2000, but it is a um, 2001 first editions, and it's from the Surfing School Bus, and it is a very cool looking bus. I like that a lot. That is a cool looking bus. It's almost got like that faux wood paneling on the side. Really, really cool. Okay. And then the last one uh, that I grabbed for 25 cents each is uh, the Work uh, Cruisers, uh, number 3 of 10. And it is a another school bus, but it says Bebop's Surf Shop. And that's another kind of kick-ass bus there. I like that a lot. <clears throat> okay. So, oh, and I'm sorry. The, let's see if I can show you. Because I completely forgot about this. It's going to be hard to see. I guess let me put it this way. It's got that really great graphic on the top of the bus. That's a really awesome graphic there. Okay. So now for a dollar each, I got in the package from the year 2003, Trick Cereal Car. It is a um, from their Cereal Crunchers line. This is number three of five. Lincoln Continental 1964. So Trick Cereal. Okay. Uh, let me show you the other cereal crunchers. I got Cocoa Puffs. And then there he is on the hood of the car there. Sunny. That's a uh, guy. I just had a little uh, 
stumbling on the name there. This is a Plymouth GTX 1971 of Honey Nut Cheerios. Okay, and then you can see it says Honey Nut Cheerios all across the top there, which is very cool. And that is, oh, I'm sorry, one more cereal. I'm sorry. Uh, this is a 1995 Camaro. This is Frankenberry. There you go. Frankenberry on the hood there. Okay. Next, uh, this is from the Sega Games collection. And of that, I have two. This is House of the Dead 2. And it is a, it's called a Phaeton car. There we go. Gray graphics on the side of there, the skulls of the, of the dead. And uh, that hood at the top is removable. And very cool. And then another Sega Games, this is a Fandango, which for the life of me, uh, I, I know what game this is, and it's just, it's just not coming to me. It says Space Channel 5 there. Another great uh, graphic on the side. There we go. Okay. Uh, next, I've got a... From, their waste, uh, from the Wastelanders series, which I have one uh, that I picked up... Uh, about a month ago, but this is the Rocket Oil Special. And as you can see, it's like sleek black flamed car with the skull on the side. And a little hard to see maybe what the top down version, I mean, I'm trying to get a top view there, but uh, I think you can get the idea, but very cool car. And from the uh, Roll Patrol, which are police car, is a police car series that uh, Hot Wheels did in, uh, let's see, this is from 2002. This is a police car limousine. Which, that is cool. It almost looks like it, like you could customize this to be like a Blade Runner car or a, um, just some kind of futuristic car. You know, like even from like Back to the Future 2 or something. And, you know, you could just customize this to look like something from, from those movies. Uh, or like a fifth element car or something. Uh, th this would be a really good car to work with for customization. Well, that's an awesome car. And then next, uh, this is a 1958 Corvette. That's awesome car there. I love that color. Yellow, I love that. Okay. And then... The last one that I picked up for a dollar. Uh, this is from their Work Cruiser series as well. And this is a Dodge Ram 1500. This is a Howlin' Hot Wolfman Pizza Delivery Truck. You can see the Wolfman on it. That's very cool for a dollar. And then I'll show you, trying to show you the top of the hood there. Work Cruisers, and you got the piece, you got, uh, Cut up pizza there and the Wolfman. Okay, now I got a bunch of loose cars. The loose cars were 50 cents each. And I will start off by showing you the Hot Wheels 1979. Uh, there is not a, uh, it's not called anything on the bottom. It doesn't say. But then uh, these older Hot Wheels have got this, as you can see, it's a raised thing. So you can press this down so it just lays flat or you can pop it out so it's a, it has a raised back so very cool uh, next up I've got a Hot Wheels from 2000 it's called a Crazy 8S 8S that is very cool Next, I've got a Hot Wheels from 1999, a 1965 Corvette, uh, little Roadster car there. Some tempos on the side there, very cool. Show you the back. There you 
go. There's a back. Okay. Next, I've got a Hot Wheels 2002 called the One Fourth Mile Coupe. And it's got a spider web, a huge ass spider on the back there. Very cool. Next is a delivery, or I'm sorry, not a delivery, not a delivery, a food truck, which I love. Hot Wheels 1983, which is an espresso stop food truck. And it does have the man intact inside, which is always very cool, because a lot of these I find at Savers and the toy bags, they're snapped off. And speaking of food trucks, I have another one, Hot Wheels 1983. Cottontail chocolates with the figure intact Which is very cool and then I'll show you the other side since it's slightly different because you can see inside Okay Next is a Hot Wheels from 2001 Fandango Which it's got those awesome skeletons Okay Next up, I've got a Hot Wheels 1990. This is a limousine. Very cool. Okay, show you there. Next up is a Matchbox car. It's a Ford panel van from 1999. Police SWAT vehicle. I love these police SWAT type of uh, cars, vehicles. I had one uh, I picked up about a month or so ago. So that will go in that collection there. This is a Hot Wheels 1977. Um, again, uh, not labeled as what it's called. But a very cool looking car. This is a Hot Wheels from 1996. A Batman Gotham City Armored Truck. Go. Oh, I'll just show you the other side. Very um, reflective, very shiny. And speaking of Batman, this is a Hot Wheels uh, No Year, but it's that classic Batman TV show car. Okay. And then this is a Hot Wheels from 19, I think, is it 85? It looks like 85, but it's Great bug, scorpionish type of car. Very cool. Next, I've got a Hot Wheels from. Uh, there's no year, but it's called a Metro Rail Nash Metropolitan, and it almost looks like something from the uh, PlayStation game of like Twisted Metal, almost. Not really, but I mean, just the I guess that clown guy at the top of the hood just kind of remind me of uh, the one ice cream truck vehicle but very cool car uh, next up uh, which I should have showed with the Batman cars but I didn't but this is a Hot Wheels uh, no year but it's called the bone shaker and it is a Joker car so very cool and I'll show you the front there cuz it's got the Joker face in the front and I'll show you the back too. There we go. Uh, and this one is just a really cool car. Not sure how many of you, uh, the ones that clock the Hot Wheels like Sean Henry and uh, Dismania have seen this kind of car. It's a Hot Wheel from 1988. And I'll show you the top first because that's how you're supposed to look at this car. It is a robot armed with a gun. And then I'll show you what it looks like from the side view. So he's laying down. And I'll show you what it looks like from the front. And then from the back. So then, as you can see. Really like that. And then this car I should really put with um, this next one. The last one. I should put with um, reclaiming the ones that were uh, the, the, like stolen and lost or whatever but I found this uh, this one lady 
had a bunch of uh, loose Hot Wheels. She had them separated. She had all uh, newer ones for uh, 50 cents each, I think it was. And then she had a whole bunch of Matchbox Vintage from the 70s for $2 each. And I will gladly pay $2 for this car because I remember having this car. I remember playing with this car. And I'm so glad to get it back. It is the ambulance car. I This is... Uh, aside from that Spider-Man car that I got back, this is a car that I fondly remember. This is just like it's been burned in my brain of uh, what uh, this car used to look like, what I used to play with. It's, it has the tempos on the side, but very... That one is actually more um, readable than actually kind of that one. That one's starting to fade just a little bit. It's got the back cover, so you can open up. You can see the patients inside. So that's intact. Just an awesome all-around car. I was happy to pay $2 for this. And um, I'm going to go back to that lady because she had some more cool vintage uh, matchboxes, which I'll gladly pay $2 for. So that is it for the uh, part two of my very first trip to the flea market. And as you can see, that's a lot of cars. I spent a lot of money at that one trip. And um, I'm going back next week, and I plan on getting a lot more Hot Wheels. So um, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, especially the ones that really like looking at the Hot Wheels. Like I know Count likes looking at the Hot Wheels too, but like Sean Henry and uh, Dismania, and even like Twisted that likes the horror-related cars or the um, spooky type of cars. Hope you enjoyed it. In the comments, leave like uh, what was your favorite car or just what you thought of uh, my little uh, Hot Wheel hunting. And uh, in the description uh, below, there's my toy photography. Check that out. Also, in the description below, check out all my friends in the Trading Circle of Collectors Talk. Great group of fr uh, friends. Great group of, of great group of guys that have great videos to show off, great toys to show off, and just uh, their hunting of thrift stores and of the flea markets that they go to. And until next time, this is Bosco signing off.